cruise ships are generally slower compared to other types of vessels for various reasons. Size and weight. Cruise ships are massive structures, often weighing tens of thousands of tons. Their size and weight result in increased water resistance and drag, making it more challenging for them to achieve higher speeds. The sheer mass of a cruise ship requires more power to move through the water efficiently. Passenger safety. Cruise ships prioritize passenger safety above all else. Operating at lower speeds allows for smoother sailing, reducing the likelihood of discomfort caused by excessive ship movements. Slower speeds provide the crew with more time to react to emergencies, such as avoiding collisions or maneuvering around hazards. Fuel efficiency. Cruise ships are designed to optimize fuel efficiency. Slower speeds generally result in lower fuel consumption, reducing both operational costs and the environmental impact of cruising. Given the long distances cruise ships often travel, fuel efficiency is crucial for sustainability and profitability. Environmental regulations. Stringent environmental regulations in the maritime industry require cruise ships to comply with specific emission standards. Slower speeds help reduce fuel consumption, resulting in lower emissions of greenhouse gases and other pollutants. The cruise industry strives to adopt sustainable practices and minimize its ecological footprint. Maneuverability. Cruise ships are complex vessels with limited maneuverability compared to smaller ships. Operating at slower speeds enhances their maneuvering capabilities, allowing them to navigate through narrow channels, congested ports, and docking facilities more safely and efficiently. Slower speeds provide the crew with better control over the ship's movements, reducing the risk of accidents or collisions. Stability and comfort. Maintaining stability and comfort is essential for cruise ship operations. Slower speeds contribute to enhanced stability, as the ship encounters fewer dynamic forces while moving through the water. This ensures a smoother ride for passengers, reducing the likelihood of seasickness and other discomforts associated with rough seas. Operational considerations. Cruise ships operate on predefined schedules with specific ports of call and itineraries. Slower speeds help them adhere to these schedules and ensure timely arrivals and departures. Additionally, slower speeds provide more time for passengers to enjoy the onboard amenities and entertainment, enhancing their overall cruise experience. Infrastructure limitations. Ports and terminals have infrastructure designed to accommodate the size and speed characteristics of cruise ships. Limitations such as narrow channels, shallow water depths, or restricted turning radii can affect a ship's speed. Slower speeds enable cruise ships to navigate through such constrained areas safely and without causing damage to the infrastructure or the vessel itself. Safety and emergency response. Slower speeds contribute to improved safety and emergency response capabilities on board. During emergencies such as man overboard situations or medical evacuations, slower speeds make it easier for the crew to execute necessary rescue operations effectively. Moreover, slower speeds minimize the risk of accidents when launching lifeboats or deploying safety equipment. Ship Design Cruise ships are designed to prioritize passenger experience and comfort. The design choices, such as the hull shape and stability characteristics, are optimized for slower speeds to ensure smoother sailing and reduced vibrations. These design considerations enhance the overall comfort and satisfaction of passengers during their cruise. Propulsion systems. Cruise ships often employ propulsion systems that are optimized for efficient operation at slower speeds. These systems are designed to provide adequate thrust while maintaining fuel efficiency, which is crucial for long-distance cruising. Slower speeds allow these propulsion systems to operate within their optimal range, maximizing their efficiency. Noise and vibration reduction. Higher speeds can generate excessive noise and vibrations on a cruise ship. Slower speeds help mitigate these issues, resulting in a quieter and more pleasant onboard environment. Passengers can enjoy the various amenities and activities without disturbances caused by high-speed operations. Navigation safety. Navigating a cruise ship requires careful planning and consideration of various factors, such as water depth, underwater obstructions, and traffic separation schemes. Slower speeds provide more time for the ship's navigational officers to assess the situation, make informed decisions, and adjust the course if necessary, ensuring safe navigation. Wildlife protection. Slower speeds are particularly important in environmentally sensitive areas where marine wildlife may be present. Operating at slower speeds minimizes the risk of collisions with marine mammals, turtles, or other vulnerable species, ensuring the protection of the marine ecosystem. Cost savings. 
Slower speeds offer cost savings for cruise operators. Lower fuel consumption translates into reduced operating expenses, which can have a significant impact on the overall profitability of cruise lines. Additionally, slower speeds can extend the lifespan of propulsion systems and other equipment, reducing maintenance and replacement costs. Crew efficiency. Slower speeds allow the crew to perform their duties more efficiently. From maintenance tasks to providing personalized service to passengers, operating at slower speeds offers a less hurried environment, enabling the crew to carry out their responsibilities effectively. Weather conditions. Weather conditions at sea can be unpredictable and challenging. Slower speeds give the ship's captain and crew more time to assess weather patterns and make appropriate adjustments to the ship's route or speed to ensure passenger safety and comfort. Hull resistance. Cruise ship hulls are designed to minimize resistance and drag. However, even with advanced hull designs, there is still some resistance encountered while moving through the water. Slower speeds help minimize this resistance, resulting in more efficient propulsion and improved fuel economy. Impact reduction. Slower speeds reduce the impact on coastal communities and fragile ecosystems near ports of call. By operating at lower speeds, cruise ships produce less weight and create less disturbance to the local environment, preserving the natural beauty and reducing potential erosion of shorelines. Longevity and durability. Slower speeds contribute to the longevity and durability of cruise ships. By operating at more moderate speeds, the stress on the ship's structure and components is reduced, potentially extending their lifespan and minimizing the need for costly repairs or replacements. Cruise ships are slow due to their size and weight, passenger safety considerations, fuel efficiency requirements, environmental regulations, maneuverability constraints, stability and comfort requirements, operational considerations, infrastructure limitations, safety and emergency response capabilities, ship design, propulsion systems, noise and vibration reduction, navigation safety, wildlife protection, cost savings, crew efficiency, weather conditions, hull resistance, impact reduction, and longevity considerations. All these factors combine to determine the optimal speed at which cruise ships operate, striking a balance between efficiency, safety, and passenger satisfaction.